According to the CDC, Nevada has the highest concentration of a so-called superbug that's causing some problems nationwide. Yeah, and a high concentration of the deaths also here in the Silver State. Ryan Matthew joins us now live to break down the infection, where it's happening, and why Nevada is seeing numbers so high. Yeah, Brian and Kirsten, Canada or is it's nothing new. The first case was reported actually over a decade ago, but now the CDC has listed it as an urgent threat. This map from the CDC shows the hot spots across the nation. Health professionals are working to best treat the treatment resistant infections, and that's key here in Nevada as we lead the nation for most infections with no clear reason as to why. <laughs> A form of yeast, not usually harmful to healthy people, but increasingly harmful to patients in the hospital. Canada Oris. It's a fungus. An infection that can cause shaking, fevers, chills, and if it gets into the bloodstream, damage to internal organs. Infectious disease professor Dr. William Schaffner says. When patients are infected, they are put in their private rooms in isolation, and healthcare workers wear gowns and gloves caring for them so they won't spread it to others. An infection most commonly seen in hospital settings where catheters and blood tubes provide an easy entry inside the body to those most prone to sickness. Nevada, California, and Florida lead the country. More so in Nevada than anywhere else. The CDC reported 16% of all cases nationally were in Nevada last year. That's nearly 400 cases out of over 2,300. But according to Dr. Mark Kahn, Dean of UNLV's Kirk Akorian School of Medicine, the reason why is unknown. It may have something to do with our climate. It may have something to do with our hospitals. And I just don't think we have an answer as to why that is. And until they learn more, infections are rejecting the three kinds of antifungal drugs available on the market. So over time, we're going to have to find better ways to treat the infection. Now, another doctor researching the fungus said that they've recently discovered a compound that seems effective against Candina auris, although testing to prove that could take many months more before potential use to treat infections. Brian.